Researchers combine data from over 15,000 penises to find out what's truly normal. So, are you normal? How do you compare? And why is this information more useful than you realize? Let's dive in. All men have wondered how they compare to others at some point. Ask any doctor or urologist, and one of the biggest complaints they'll hear from men is about penis size, even though the vast majority of them are actually normal or even above average. Large-scale studies have found that men think the average is 6.2 inches, and that 7.3 inches is ideal. It's difficult to convince men otherwise, though. While there are many penis size studies out there, they're often of dubious quality, with bad science I covered in another video. It's hard to know how you might compare to what's being reported, especially when a lot of these studies are bad and have contributed to men's insecurities. This led clinical researchers in London to come up with an idea. They set out to build a graphical tool, called a nomogram, that allows you to see exactly where you lie within a normal distribution of size, and find your size percentile. Basically, charts. To do this, they combined a systematic literature review and meta-analysis, scouring through tens of thousands of academic articles to identify 20 studies of rigorous enough quality to be included. The resulting nomograms are based on statistical models using data from 15,521 adult men with healthy penises across all ages and races from around the world. What's average? How many people have a certain size? And where do you fall? First, you need to have measurements taken in exactly the right way just like in the original studies. So, you need to follow the right method. If you don't have a penis, join in anyway. Ask your partner or a friend to be your guinea pig. Measuring isn't as straightforward as you think. If you're a researcher or a doctor or being really precise about it, there are recent recommendations which discuss different techniques and go as far as covering temperature control, altitude, drugs, and penis injections. There's even a checklist. But for everyone else, here's a quick guide. Ideally, use flexible, non-stretchy measuring tape. Try to measure at room temperature, about 21 to 22 degrees Celsius. Make sure it's fully hard, and while you can accurately predict erect length by stretching it out flaccid, erect is more reliable. Now, for length, measure on the top, not the side or underneath, using the dorsal surface. Don't just put the start of the measuring tape at the base of the penis. Push it in until it's firmly pressed against your pubic bone, then measure to the tip of the glands. This is called a bone press length. This is your true size, stays consistent over time, and is what is used in rigorous studies. As a bonus, you can then measure just from the base without pressing it in to understand what's visible. This may change over time. For example, as you gain fat, you lose length as the penis gets buried in the pubic fat pad. Comparing this against the bone press length can tell you how much length you could gain by losing weight. For girth, this is pretty simple. Measure circumference at the mid shaft, so halfway up the penis. You should now have a bone press length and girth measurements, preferably while erect. So, how do they compare? First up, erect length. To start with, the average is 5.16 inches, or about 13 centimeters, a whole inch smaller than the myth of 6 inches or more being average. If your penis is 4.3 inches, or 11 centimeters, erect, then you're in the 10th percentile, meaning you're larger than 10% of men. At the other end, the 90th percentile is at 15.25 centimeters, or 6 inches, meaning if you're 6 inches, you're larger than 90% of men. For a difference of about 5 centimeters, that's quite a significant jump. 80% of men are between 4.3 to 6 inches, or about 11 to 15 centimeters. You have to really go to the extremes to be considered unusual. Just 2.3% of men have an abnormally small penis, and just as many have an unusually large one. Most penises are actually really similar to each other. Remember how I said that large survey data found men think the average is 6.22 inches, or 15.8 centimeters? That's actually the 95th percentile, larger than 95% of men. Likewise, they think the ideal length is 7.3 inches, or roughly 18.5 centimeters, but that's in the 99th percentile. Just so you know, there's no such thing as the 100th percentile. It's extremely rare to be that big or bigger. If you fall into the bottom 2.28% of men, you could be a candidate for penis augmentation. And if you're in the bottom 0.14%, then you could even have a micropenis. What about erect girth? The average when erect is 4.59 inches. The distribution is very similar to that of length. The 10th percentile is 4 inches, or 10 and a quarter centimeters, and the 90th percentile is at about 5.17 inches, or about 13 centimeters meaning the vast majority of men's girth measurements are within an inch or so of each other. It's worth remembering that the sort of people included in these penis size studies are highly likely to be more comfortable with their size already, meaning these estimates are likely to be an overestimate of what the true average is, which should be reassuring. 
If you don't fancy using the nomograms, I put a couple links to calculators you can use based on this data in the video description below, which will tell you where your measurements fall. If you use any others, be mindful of where they're getting their data from. Using this study as the source of data for a calculator is ideal because of how rigorous they were with the data they included. So why does any of this matter? The six inch myth and bad science has taken a toll. In one survey of 52,000 straight men, 66% thought that their penis was average and only 12% thought it was small, but a whopping 45% wished it was larger. Only 0.2% wanted to be smaller. Most men think their penis is smaller compared to other men, and men think the average is 6.2 inches, despite it really being about 5.1 inches at most. Another study found that only 58% of men are satisfied with their erect length. Studies consistently find men with average penises consistently wish they were larger, and say the ideal length is about 7.3 inches. Speak to any urologists or other doctors that deal with men's health, and they'll tell you that almost all their patients worry about their size. One study found that 46% of men seeking penis lengthening surgery were 5.12 inches or longer. Unfortunately, this anxiety is very real, and can go as far as being diagnosed as a body dysmorphic disorder, or small penis anxiety. Whether size is normal or not, Dissatisfaction is associated with having less sex, and men worry that their sexual partners won't think that they're big enough. Fortunately, educating men about the true size of the average penis, and how they compare, has been shown to be effective at convincing the majority of men, between 66 to 100%, with small penis anxiety that they're actually normal. But what about women and gay men? What do they want in a partner's penis? In women, one study found that women are much better at estimating the average erect length, estimating an average of 5.29 inches, very close to the actual average. One study found that, when shown 3D images, women preferred an erect length of 6.3 to 6.4 inches, a length longer than 97% of men. Before you get upset though, another large study found that 84% of women are satisfied with their partner's penis size, with 2% actually wishing it was smaller. Only 21% of women think penis length is important. When hundreds of women in a 1978 study were interviewed about what is important to them during sex, not one mentioned penis size. What's more, a 2001 study asked 50 undergraduate women whether length or width was more satisfying during sex, and 90% said width. So bigger is only better up to a point, at least for women. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for gay men, who appear to have greater anxieties around penis size and greater expectations from a partner. There's not much research into this, but a 2017 poll of 566 gay and bi men found that more than one in five had rejected a sexual partner due to penis size. 16% had received derogatory comments about their penis. 38% said that their penis size caused them anxiety. And while 49% said size doesn't matter, 36% said size matters. What's more, 8% said that their size impacts their decision to use a condom or not which is backed up by a study which found that men who had recently had unprotected sex as a top reported significantly larger penis size. Taken together, partner expectations highlight the importance of educating men about what's really normal, addressing insecurities, but also the value of measuring properly and getting the right condom for your size. By dismantling sexual myths, like the average penis being over six inches, we can promote men's self-esteem and health. But what if you're below average or average and still wish it was bigger? The science of penis enlargement is entering a golden age, and there are real ways to significantly and safely increase penis size that even appear in the latest medical guidelines. For more on that, watch this next.